Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors of our Book Riot. This past weekend, I ended up binge listening to S-Town. It's a new podcast that was put out by uh, the people who put together This American Life and Serial. It's pitched as sort of like a true crime podcast. It is and it isn't. Uh, but I binge listened to the whole thing in one day because I got hooked. There's only seven one hour long episodes. And so when I was halfway through, I was like, well, might as well just finish it. So I ended up just really falling into this world and the story that they're telling. I'm not going to give my opinions on S-Town because they are long and complicated. I'm also not going to give any spoilers. So if you haven't listened to it yet, uh, I recommend listening to it. I think it's really fantastic storytelling. But in case you are uh, wanting to listen to it and you're worried about me ruining anything don't worry I'll be as vague as possible but the video that I have for you guys today is books to read if you've listened to us town so the first one that I have is midnight in the garden of good and evil by John Byrne this is actually a book that came to mind when I was just starting to listen to it uh, when I was in like the first or second episode the way that us town talks about this small town in Alabama reminds me so much of the way that John Byrne talks about Savannah, Georgia, when he is, you know, living in that town for this book. This is also a nonfiction true crime book. Uh, John Byrne goes down to Savannah, Georgia, because there is this sort of open secret about the crime and corruption that's happening in the city. But it's also very much this very southern town, um, but it's also full of a lot of eccentrics. So it has a lot of like parallels to S-Town itself. This book is absolutely fascinating. John Burnt does a great job of really painting a picture so that way you feel like you're in this town. Um, I think that it also just has a lot of similarities in the way that true crime does to S-Town in the sort of like borderline ethics that happens in this book. But I think that this is probably about as close of a parallel as you're going to get to S-Town. There's even like characters in here that remind me specifically of characters that I heard about in S-Town. It's really crazy how close they are and honestly like this is by far like the best book that you could pick up if you want like a straight line from S-Town to a book. Another one if you haven't read it yet is In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. This is obviously a famous book and it's the original sort of true crime novel. Um, so if you haven't read it yet, I feel like that one is also a really good one to pick up. It's very different in the sense of just where Truman Capote is coming into the storyline is from a very different point. But I think that if you are into this whole true crime genre, then this might be a good book to pick up. There again are some things in there that are either borderline unethical or you're not really sure if Truman Capote is telling the whole truth, which I think it also parallels a couple of things that happen in S-Town. Not that I question whether or not the journalist in S-Town was telling the truth, but whether or not some of the information and characters were just factual. You know, if you listen to it, you can probably guess what I'm talking about. But yeah, I feel like that one is sort of like an obligatory mention because, again, it's the original true crime novel and it is popular for a reason. The next one is slightly more of an offshoot in terms of recommendations, and that is The Devil All the Time by Daniel Ray Pollock. I love this book, but it's super super disturbing, super graphic. This takes place in Ohio, but it reminds me a lot of the ways that John, the main character in S-Town, talks about his small town in Alabama. It reminded me a lot of just sort of the small town in Ohio that's talked about in here. This book, again, is really dark and really graphic, so if you have an aversion to that, I do not recommend this book. There are like graphic murders and sexual acts and horrible sad things that happen in this book, so avoid this book if you don't like any of that stuff. But I think that Donald Ray Pollock provides such a compelling story in here. I was completely addicted to it. And I think that he provides this sort of like dark side to small town life that isn't seen very often in sort of these towns that may have once been full of like hope and jobs and potential um, that are now falling into disarray and what happens to the people that lives in, live in these towns, which I think is very reminiscent of this small town in Alabama that's covered in S-Town. Next I have The Cutting Season by Attica Locke. Um, this one is slightly more of like tangentially related to S-Town or like a tangential recommendation. This story takes place in Louisiana near like New Orleans, Baton Rouge area. There is this plantation where uh, one of the workers is found dead on the plantation in the morning. The cops and everyone are not really sure if it was just like an accidental death or if there was foul play found. So one obviously it takes place in the south so it deals with some of the like racial tensions that are going to be prevalent there uh, but two it also deals with this idea of like families with privilege and 
have certain influences in a town and how that affects the way that investigations go, which has a sort of like loose relationship to some of the themes in S-Town, at least early on. Also, I just think that this is a fantastic mystery book. So in general, I would recommend this book to people. Uh, but I think that you could definitely see some parallels between some of the stuff that happens in there and some of the stuff that happens in The Cutting Season. And then my final recommendation is probably like, the farthest, tangentially speaking, uh, to S-Town, and that is The Unseen World by Liz Moore. This book, the reason why I'm recommending this book is for multiple reasons. One is because it's like a mystery that turns into or is really about a family and characters, which I think is really what S-Town is about. It starts off as this true crime story and it turns into more of a character study, um, which I think that Liz Moore does really well in this book as well. You start off with this mystery of this girl Ada. She's adopted by this man named David and there is a secret past to David's life and Ada sort of tries to figure out what actually is true or not about her father's life. Not that obviously S-Town doesn't take that director route, but it's S-Town starts off again with this true crime that turns into a story about these families and these friendships and things like that. And I think that if you liked that aspect of S-Town, sort of a mystery that really has more going on to it, then I think that you'll really like The Unseen World. But also I just really love this book, so I'm always recommending it to people. So I think that, again, maybe you should just pick it up in general, whether or not you want it to be related to S-Town. But if you're looking for something that has a mystery element to it, but it's not just 100% a mystery book, this would be really great to pick up. So yeah, those are my four no, five recommendations for you guys. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you've read any of these books or if you've listened to S-Town and you have any other book recommendations, definitely leave them down in the comment section. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.